Hey everyone, it's Jen. Uh, welcome to week seven and happy President's Day. So some of you might not be seeing this until Tuesday. Um, anyway, I just wanted to walk you through a couple of things that we're doing this week very quickly. So I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll down to week seven, where we are now. Um, you'll notice that the first thing that we start with on week seven is actually an assignment from week six. I heard from several of you over the weekend that you'd had trouble with uh, accessing your work at the end of the peer workshop, so I extended the deadline for your final draft of the narrative essay until next week so that you have time to uh, use that feedback, also time to talk with me about it, talk with the writing center, uh, any of that. I also found out some of you had trouble getting your feedback on the summary papers, and I am in the process of recreating some of that feedback because apparently I uh, was wrong when I uploaded it the first time. So if you haven't seen a grade on your summary yet, I apologize. Uh, you will be seeing one tonight, early tomorrow, definitely before we have a conference this week as I'm trying to uh, regrade all of those. So you have longer on your narrative. And I would love to hear from you about it as you're going along, if you have questions. Uh, our other assignments this week, so you have a video lecture that's pretty short about essay structures and the Comparison X essay structure in particular. This is just going to act as an introduction to comparison, which is what we'll be working on next week uh, in earnest. And down here you'll see you have two readings. Rice by Jhumpa Lahiri and Fish Cheeks by Amy Tan. And you need to read through both of those essays this week. Take notes on them. Make sure you understand or feel like you understand what the authors are trying to say. Um, because I'm going to ask you to write a comparison about some aspect of those two pieces next week. The other big assignment this week that's going to take some time and I hope be fruitful uh, is that I'd like everyone to meet with me. Now that's not an in-person meeting. You don't have to drive to campus. In fact, if you do drive to campus, I won't be there. Uh, this is an online meeting using Blackboard Collaborate, which is also called Illuminate. Our videos call it Illuminate. Uh, to do this, the first thing you're going to do is click on this link where it says Schedule a Conference with Jen. It's going to take you to a spreadsheet, magically. Ta-da! It's a spreadsheet. And you'll see your classmates' names. Maybe your name is already up here. On the blanks that are shaded in green, they look sort of green, uh, those are the times that I'm available to meet. So you can just pencil yourself in. So I'm going to pencil myself in to meet with myself, apparently, tomorrow morning at 8.15. Um, I'll usually close these the night before. So you can't sign up at 8 o'clock to meet with me at nine o'clock um but i'll you know send me an email if you need to schedule something the same day but i have you know a lot of spaces open this week if nothing works out for you this week then please email me as soon as you can and we'll set something else up these will just require you to be in front of your computer um, you don't need a web camera you don't even really need speakers we're just going to chat mostly through typing or uh, I might draw, so sorry, um, and maybe look at your papers that you've submitted online. They'll be pretty quick, just checking in to see where you're at, and then if you have any specific questions, that would be a great time to run them by me. Okay, so that is required. you got to do that this week, and I hope that you'll walk out of that with some ideas about where to go next in the class with grammar exercises, with your papers, and all of that. To get started on that session, once you've scheduled a conference, then for every day of the week, you're going to see uh, one of these little morning meetings or afternoon meetings links. So when it comes time for your meeting, you'll just click on this little link. And when it's available, you'll see a big thing up here that says join session. And you're just going to click on that and then it will take you to the session with me. Um, now, Blackboard Collaborate can be a little tricky to use with your computer, so please, well before your time, 
up at the top of our Moodle page, there's all of this stuff about how to participate in Blackboard Collaborate. And you want to go through that before your time. So if you're scheduled for 9.15, don't start looking at those videos at 9.10. Um, get to them the night before. Make sure your computer is all set up. And if you have trouble getting it set up, I'm going to be almost useless to you in getting it fixed. Uh, you want to call the student help desk and ask them, please help me. They're very nice people. They would love to hear from you and they'll be knowledgeable about your problem. Whereas I will just flail and say, please call the student help desk. Here's all their information. It's over on the side. You can drop in, you can call them, you can email them, whatever works best for you. So that's where we are this week. Um, let me know if you have questions as they come up. Email me, send me a Moodle message, or catch me in one of our conferences. I look forward to speaking with you all. Have a good week.